Liz Cheney, who joins us right now. Good morning, Liz. Good morning, Glenn. How are you? Very good. We were just uh, talking about Congress and the Paycheck Protection Act, which is something I think that is different. We haven't seen this thing before. At least I haven't seen this before. There's regular unemployment benefits, and then there's the Paycheck Protection Act. Is this something that will continue to be funded throughout the year? I mean, is it you just went ahead and passed this thing. Is it running dry already? So many people out there are sitting at home. Yeah, so a couple of things. Um, it is, it's something that's brand new, uh, you know, that we've passed uh, because of what's happening to the economy because of uh, COVID. And we passed the first round of funds um, about two weeks ago, and then that first round ran out um, very quickly. This is a program that's been set up to provide money for small businesses in particular um, that uh, businesses can use to uh, pay payroll uh, and, and a whole range of other expenses that will then be, the loans will be forgiven if they use the money for those particular things. And the idea is to make sure that people can uh, keep their jobs and that businesses that, you know, have been forced to shut down are going to be able to operate once this is, this is all over and we're through this. So the first round of funding ran out and we had to spend many days then um, really listening to the Democrats unfortunately play political games. Everybody knew this thing needed to be um, refunded, that we needed additional money for it, and instead of just agreeing to do that, Nancy Pelosi primarily, it was her, but, but Chuck Schumer was involved as well, kept delaying and delaying and delaying, which meant that people that needed the money couldn't get it because it had run dry. Um, we've now appropriated more money for it, uh, and something in the vicinity of about 7,500 small businesses all across uh, Wyoming have been able to get some some access and some relief. Um, so it, it's a program that has been historic in terms of how quickly we were able to get it set up, how quickly the Treasury Department um, has been able to provide these resources. One of the statistics that I heard that I think is really telling about how quickly this this uh, relief has been provided is that the SBA provided um, more loans in 14 days than they they have done in 14 years and so it's it's an important program uh, it's meant to be an emergency program and um, not something that will be permanent but we want to make sure that the money is there uh, you know while people need it while the, while our businesses can't can't be operating uh, you know, in a normal fashion. Well, speaking of not operating in a normal fashion, the question was asked of the governor yesterday, which I thought was a really good question. What happens if employees are brought back, but they cannot be brought back full time at first? Does it still cover the rest of what they normally would have made? Yeah, I mean, what it's supposed to to be used for is to cover those payroll expenses. And so um, the uh, PPP money and those loans for the payroll expenses um, you know, we'll, we'll cover whatever the need is for those companies. Um, there's a separate uh, allocation of, of money that, that we've appropriated that is uh, unemployment insurance uh, in a, on top of what uh, Wyoming state unemployment insurance provides. And those resources are only available to people if they've been furloughed. Um, and so, uh, you know, that money is not intended to be for people who um, are choosing to stay home or, uh, you know, who can make more by doing that than staying in their jobs. The whole idea here is to make sure we keep, you know, people connected with their jobs so um, that when we're able to open up more, those jobs are there and, and people have them and, and can continue to make money that way. All right. Representative, a little bit Thanks for uh, coming on this morning, taking some time with us. I appreciate it. Great to be with you. Thanks so much, Glenn. All right. 646. Wake up, Wyoming.